What is up everybody, it's Cobes here and today I'm back with another Fortnite video. In today's Fortnite video, we are going to be talking about five new locations that we'll hopefully see in Fortnite pretty soon. Maybe when there's a new map out, all of these will come out, but I really doubt it. Maybe a couple of them in the near future. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it'll ever come out? I don't know. I love sharing these new ideas with you guys, so if you guys like this, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. But let's get into the first new addition, new location that could possibly be coming to Fortnite pretty soon. So it would be called Drowning Downtown. Let's read about this. The map currently only has one major city location and it's Tilted Towers. Ever since it was added, a large majority of players land there making the rest of the map more quiet. The addition of a second city would certainly add more balance to any part of the map that players do not land at often. Drowning downtown would feature a rainy city full of tall skyscrapers that would be flooded like Loot Lake on the ground level. So drowning downtown does not appeal to me personally, but maybe some of you like that Loot Lake moisty mire feel. Um, I personally hate running through water in Fortnite. I think it really slows down the game. But if there was a ton of pallets inside these buildings that gave me a bunch of building materials where I could, you know, build my way across the water, I feel like that could be a great addition to Fortnite. I do agree that Tilted Towers has made a lot of the map a lot more quiet, but I feel like adding another city would just make the map even more quiet than it already was. It would just be spreading out um, all the Tilted Towers players and even more players going to Drowning Downtown and Tilted Towers. So it would just be like two cities that ruled Fortnite. I don't necessarily agree with this. I think it's a cool concept. I don't know if it'll be added though. The next one would be Desperate Desert. A desert part of the map would be an interesting addition, especially if it were themed like ancient Egypt. The dry heat and sand dunes of Desperate Desert would include pyramids and sphinx that could be searched for loot and competing new challenges. Palm trees and cacti could be mined down for materials, which would be needed for defense from gunfire and wide open areas. I especially love wide open areas with only a few buildings. I feel like I excel in that type of gameplay. So this would definitely be for me. I think a desert landscape would be amazing to look at inside this game. So this one is by far my favorite. I don't really like the watery wetness of drowning downtown, but Desperate Desert with its dry ass air would be amazing. I'd love to see it. The next one is Porpoise Pond. The main body of water on the current map is Loot Lake, but despite its central location it is relatively avoided because of how much material is needed to build to the center of the island. A second smaller body of Porpoise Pond would feature several islands that would each have on it a structure full of loot. A guarantee of there being one or more loot llamas on one of the islands would certainly make it a popular destination for players. I agree with this to a certain degree. I don't really think loot llamas should be placed anywhere like, they, they shouldn't be guaranteed to be anywhere on, on the map. I, I think having them be random is the way they need to be. I do agree the downside of Loot Lake is definitely having to build across the water, or if you don't have the building materials, running across Loot Lake, which basically means certain and inevitable damage, if not death. But I don't really like the water-themed location. The next location would be Crooked Canyons. Crooked Canyons would be a part of the map that would feature a narrow, twisted, and maze-like set of canyons that would go into the ground. The canyons would be full of loot and present an interesting ground for end game situations should be the circle end there. I would love to see this. I'm going to be showcasing all the pictures that they placed in, in their article because I think this looks fucking amazing and I would love to see it. I think there would need to be some sort of loot you could get from this, some sort of material, because if there weren't tons of trees around here, I would go here and I would be completely out of wood and it would take forever for me to get out of this place. Maybe you wouldn't even be able to get out of this place and you'd be stuck, but there needs to be a lot of either rocks, which I think there could be a lot of um, rocks for bricks, so you can actually build yourself out of there. But I think this is a great idea. I love it. I love the height advantage you could get by standing on top of this. 
but you'd also be a sitting duck for anyone who's looking in on Crooked Canyons. So for our last location, which I personally think would be the best location ever added in Fortnite, we have Gambling Grounds. Perhaps the most interesting addition of this list would be a Las Vegas themed Gambling Grounds. The location would feature some of the more iconic aspects of famous Las Vegas casinos including the Statue of Liberty of New York, New York, the Eiffel Tower of Paris, Las Vegas, the giant Roman sculptures of Caesar's Palace, and more. Holy fuck, guys. That would look insane. And if you went into, let's just say, the Statue of Liberty or the Eiffel Tower, it would be very dangerous because it would be easy to destroy from the bottom, but the loot you would get from it would be absolutely insane. Maybe they could add llamas in there. You know, I just said that I don't think they should add any llamas, but fuck, this would be amazing. Although it is unlikely that Fortnite could make something like this without getting into legal hot water, the direction of the game has been heading makes everything possible. So, yeah, I, get, I, I don't really know what the legality of this would be. I don't see why they couldn't add this. Who would they have to get permission from to add this in the game? I don't really understand that, to be honest. Someone leave a comment why they would get in trouble for adding this in the game. It's just a part of the world. Who owns Las Vegas? Is there someone who owns Las Vegas where Fortnite would get in trouble? Am I just retarded or what? So if I had to rank these from worst to best of what I think should be added, I think Drowning Downtown would be worst. Propus Pond would be fourth. At number three, we would it would be very close to number two, Crooked Canyons. I would love to see that. Like, we don't really have too much like that. Most of the mountains are covered with green. If it wasn't covered with green, I think that would be an awesome addition to Fortnite. Because it's just way too green in Fortnite. We have Desperate Desert, which I think would be another awesome addition. Because, again, it's not green. I love the wide open spaces, but also if you go into, like, let's say, a Sphinx. Or if you go inside a pyramid, it could be very close quarters. And that would be very difficult to get kills. And then Gambling Grounds, which is obviously the top one. What do you guys think is the best one out of these? Do you guys totally disagree with my opinions? If you guys have any sort of locations you'd want added inside of Fortnite, please leave them in the comment section because I would love to hear. Honestly, I think Gambling Grounds would be a perfect one. I would love to see some kind of casino type gameplay inside of Fortnite. I think that would be amazing. I can't really remember exactly what games have added in like casino type gameplays. I'm pretty sure Call of Duty has and I'm I'm almost positive they have. And if they did, I'm pretty sure I would have loved it. And in Fortnite, I mean, I would just love it so much more. You wouldn't really be able to build in there too much. Maybe they would have huge ass buildings where you could build super high inside of the casino, but I don't I don't really think that's realistic. But inside the casino, there would be no light shining through, and it would be only the casino lights. It would be a bunch of weird colors just um, flashing on and off. I would love that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. Tell me any future video ideas you want me to create. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.